Hey guys, welcome to another plant shop vlog where I show you guys what it's like running a plant store from home. We're gonna start the vlog off with just packing a couple orders. These are just non-plant orders. So I'm gonna pack these up really quick and actually take these to the post office myself when I head out for my appointment tonight. But when I get back from my appointment, I will be unboxing some plants as well. I did go ahead and order a Anthurium shipment. It's not that big, it's probably like 10 plants. It's not a lot, but I still wanna unbox them with you guys and show you guys all the new anthuriums that we're getting for the shop. And then over the course of the weekend, I will show you guys how I get all the plants ready for next week's restock. So first let's start with these orders. I did restock my shop yesterday on Thursday. I do have quite a few orders already, but I wanna get the orders that do not have any plants in them at all shipped out today because I like to try to get those orders out either same day or next day. I only have three of them. The other plant accessory orders that I have, those also have plants in them. So I'm just gonna pack all those on Sunday. I do have a mixture of products here. I have have some charcoal I have a bunch of display cases and I also have a good amount of plant pots that need to go out so I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly pack these guys up so I do have two new customers so we're gonna just make them a quick thank you card this is my current thank you card it's very very simple probably already gone through like a rebrand like three times of my business but this is currently where we're at the back of it is blank so that I can write something in here uh, for the customer so I'm just gonna quickly do that. So new customers will get the thank you note with the envelope um, and a personalized note. They'll also get some fun plant stickers. And then if you are a returning customer, you won't get the thank you note again because it's pretty redundant. You'll just get a bunch of plant stickers as usual. A quick tip for you if you are just starting off shipping packages with USPS, you can go to USPS's website and order a bunch of free boxes. They do provide free priority mail boxes and flat rate boxes and the shipping is also free as well. So definitely take advantage of that if you haven't already. I believe UPS might do the same thing. I don't use UPS, um, but you can definitely check and see if they do offer some type of business solution for you. I know for sure that the USPS, you technically don't need to be a business. They don't really ask, but yeah, you just go on their website and then just pick out the boxes that you want and then get them shipped to your house. And they're usually, you know, delivered within a week or two. So that is a great solution solution if you are just starting off with your business or just selling plants to a friend, doing a Facebook purge and you need boxes, go get the free ones first. And then if you need anything bigger, then you can go ahead to your other places like Staples and Uline and stuff like that and order boxes. The display cases come with seven parts and they are in this bubble wrap. And then I do wrap them again in this honeycomb wrap here. It looks like this. So when I first brought the display cases to the shop last year, I initially made a QR code that linked back to my website like this. And it has the instructions there on my website. We're going to go back to doing that because this round of display cases, my manufacturer didn't put in any like physical instructions. So we're gonna go back to doing that. It's like the same instructions, you just have to open your phone and take a picture of the QR code and you'll get there, it's very simple. Something I'm going to do though, either today or next weekend, I'm going to make a like one minute YouTube video. It's gonna be like unlisted, but it's going to just be on the instruction page and it's gonna be me showing you guys how to build it. I know for some people the instructions are a little bit confusing, especially when it comes to putting the door on. So I figured if I do like a quick demonstration of how to put it on, that will make it a little bit easier. Some people just do better visually like that. So, you know, I think it's just something that I can do. But yeah, both instructions will just be there for you and then you can use whatever one you want. Another thing I wanna say about display cases is that I personally check every single piece before it goes out of this door to make sure that there is no cracks, no scratches, no damages on them at all. However, things can happen in the mail and that's okay. It's not my fault, it's not your fault. If you open up your package and you see that there's a crack or a damage, just reach out to my support email and let me know what piece is damaged and I will send you a replacement piece or pieces. Then we'll just go from there and you don't have to worry about shipping or anything. I'll ship it myself, I'll pay for it. So I do only pack these three at a time. I do only pack these three at a time. If you order more than three, I will ship it in two separate packages or however many packages I need. What I've been doing lately with packages that contain display cases, I've been writing that they're glass on the package. So hopefully that, you know, 
makes the mail carrier a little bit more aware and they don't like just throw it. There's really nothing anybody can do about that. I'm sure that we have all witnessed some type of mail carrier like completely destroy our packages. The only thing I can suggest is like, not even just like with my shop, but like in general, when you're buying things, always make note of the box before you open it and take a picture of it. Cause if it's like completely tore up, definitely take a picture and open a claim with the mail carrier and they actually might do something because it's ridiculous. So just to put things into perspective, this package has three display cases in it and it came out to nine pounds and 10 ounces, which is very heavy. And this causes the shipping to go up. So if you have been like looking at this on my shop and you're like confused why the shipping is expensive, it is because it is heavy and it is expensive. While we're talking about shipping, I wanna let you guys know that the USPS is raising their shipping prices again. So pretty much starting in July, you might see like a slight difference than what you're used to in shipping. Um, I will be trying to raise my prices to accommodate it, but still keep it fair. I think I only need to raise my prices by like a dollar, a dollar 50, and it should, you know, be okay. Us small businesses are not in charge of the shipping costs. The mail carrier does all that. We don't make up our shipping prices out of nowhere. At least I don't. Um, mine are all based off of the actual USPS calculator. I know talking about shipping can be frustrating for a lot of people and sometimes shipping can make or break a sale and I can't afford to not charge a shipping cost on my orders. So I totally understand if it's too much for you. Um, they and UPS have definitely raised their prices quite a bit. So it's kind of a lose-lose situation no matter who you go to. But everything in the world right now is very expensive due to inflation. So, you know, it makes sense. So that is everything we have to pack for today. Um, if I get any other non-plant things today, I will ship those out tomorrow on Saturday. And I'm gonna go and actually drop these off and head out to my appointment. And I think James and I might go have dinner. And then when I get back, we can go ahead and unbox some plants. With a little bit of YouTube magic, I am back. We're gonna be unboxing this box here. This is all anthuriums in this box. So there's only a couple of plants in here. I don't usually order a lot from this wholesaler in particular because they don't have that many things to offer. Their selection is way smaller than my other main wholesaler, the one where I get like the really big boxes from. So the nice thing about this place is that I can order as little as I want. I don't have to hit like a minimum amount. So this works great for me when I just wanna do a smaller restock. Uh, like in between big restocks and stuff like that. This is how they come packaged. They package them in just brown paper um, and then they just tape the bottom. There is a little bit of soil spillage. I think it's one of these. I can hear it like moving around. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open them. I don't have my invoice in front of me, so I will be just putting the names of the plants on the screen. This is an Anthurium Luxurians. As you can see, it has this beautiful leaf right here in the front, has a leaf down here, has another leaf here, then a brand new one here. So this one is a really nice size. I was actually expecting it to be a little bit smaller. This one does look like it's on its way out, so we'll just keep an eye on it. But overall, it's very beautiful. Um, it does have a new leaf on the way. It looks great. So this is the next plant here, and honestly, this one is not looking the greatest. It looks like it took a lot of damage from shipping and stuff like that. It looks very stressed. Um, it's also very dirty. So this is one of the leaves here. There is no leaf here. We have one down here and one here. So this one does look like it's in some rough shape. I honestly think this leaf is going to not make it. Probably with this one, I'm going to end up rehabbing it for a little while until it puts out a newer leaf. This one is another Anthurium Luxurians. Here is what this one is looking like. It's pretty much similar size to the first one. So it has a nice leaf here, has a nice one here, and then one more right here. Sorry about the color of the camera going in and out. It's my camera trying to focus on the plant and then it will try to focus back on me so the color kind of goes in and out. So the Luxurians look very, very nice. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison. This one and this one, they look great. I like the size of them and they look overall pretty healthy. No signs of stress or anything like that. The one thing I do wish this wholesaler would pack their stuff a little bit better. Um, as you can see, there's like soil kind of everywhere. I know that it's hard to pack plants and stuff, but like, this is, you know, kind of annoying to deal with. Here is this leaf in the front, very nice. It is a velvety leaf 
plant. It looked like it already had some damage here on the sides and it has this leaf down here, which also has a little bit of damage, um, if you can see here. Overall, I don't think it looks too bad, especially it being a velvety leaf plant. These plants, um, if anything happens to them while they're like hardening or shipping or whatever, you're gonna see it. Um, so it's pretty like minimal, typical damage, you know, like that. But the thing is, I don't really expect these plants to be perfect from this wholesaler. I definitely do have a high expectation for plant shipments, especially from my other wholesaler. Just because one does such a great job, I can't expect all of them to do an amazing job, you know what I mean? I've dealt with quite a few wholesalers in the past. Um, and I've narrowed it down really to like these two right now. And the thing I've learned about wholesale plants is that they either care or they don't. Um, and that's just it. When you're dealing with hundreds of thousands of plants, it's definitely hard for them to keep up with a lot of them. But yeah, I don't really have that high of expectations when it comes to this one, which is another reason why I don't really spend that much money on orders with this wholesaler. I think I skipped the last two months of ordering from this wholesaler. I think I had just ordered from my other one because they actually had Anthurium, so I didn't really feel like there was a point. This one is definitely super, super stressed, and I think it's definitely from the heat. As you can see, this one is like a complete goner. Um, we're gonna have to just put this one aside and rehab it. It's all yellowing. Um, the leaves are wilted. The leaves are wilted here, even down here. And I definitely think it is from the heat. It is very, very hot right now. And it's going to be hot for the rest of the summer. It's only going to get hotter. That is the risk that we take ordering plants in the heat. And it's the same thing when it's winter time. That's the risk you take ordering plants in the winter. So yeah, unfortunately, this one did not really make it that well. I'm going to be unpotting all of these tomorrow and repotting them. So we'll check the roots and see if there's any root rot. The roots might be totally fine and then we can just rehab it and then hopefully a new leaf will come out in the next couple of weeks and then you know it'll be good to go but as for this one this one does have a lot of shipping stress the next one we have is this one here it only has one leaf as you can see it looks okay but it's definitely thirsty I can tell just from how light it is so I think I'm just going to put these like in a container and just give them a quick water tonight so that they can have some type of hydration. Um, they were just in a box for pretty much the whole week. I think they got shipped out on Tuesday and it's Friday now and it is very hot. So they're probably really thirsty. So I can't really like be too upset about the order. I try to not get upset over things like this because it's like, it's really like out of my control. And obviously these things are related to heat and just shipping stress in general. So it's like, what can I do? Um, there's no point for me to like even reach out to them because they're probably not gonna do anything. So yeah, not all the time plant shipments are always going to be 100% perfect. When buying plants in wholesale for your business, and this is something for customers to understand too, we're shipping living things and it's gonna depend on the like environment at the time, the shipping, how long it's stuck in shipping, the weather, whatever. Like there's a lot of factors that can go into shipping a plant and it can be great and sometimes it can be not so great. Even though so far two of the plants don't look the greatest, the rest do and I'm happy with that. And I don't really have a problem with rehabbing some of the plants. Now, if all the plants were dead, I think that we would have a bigger problem, but we don't. So we're gonna just leave it as it is. So here is the next plant, looks like this. And it has another leaf right here. Pretty decent size as well. Never had a lot of these hybrids or even types on the shop before. So I am really excited to bring a lot of these to the shop, even if I can't bring them right away. At least I have them, you know? And I'm not really too concerned either because literally next week on Monday, the next shipment is being shipped out and that one is gonna have a ton of plants anyway. So this is the last one. So it has this leaf here. It is like a little seedling. It had a little leaf down here, but it definitely melted because of the heat. So the heat was a big factor of this shipment, unfortunately. I think it did get delayed like a day in the mail as well. So that affected it as well. I think what I might end up doing this summer is kind of staying away from the more velvety leaf ones, these types, or even like these types, because these are the ones that seem to get affected the most by 
by weather conditions. So, so as you can see, the Luxurians, they ended up shipping really okay, uh, with the exception of like one, you know, stress leaf, but they are nice and firm. They don't show any like damage at all. They look great, but definitely as customers, you should be very mindful of the weather before you're making a purchase. So yeah, anyway, this is our little shipment for this week. We're going to be doing a lot of rehabbing, it seems like. Since they have been just sitting in a box for a week, they need some water. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I will see you guys tomorrow, and we can take a look at the plant's roots. Hey guys, happy Sunday. I'm going to be packing some orders today. And after we're done packing orders, I'm gonna give you guys an update on the plants we just got in and we can repot them and restock the shop. I just wanna go ahead and get the orders done and out of the way first. I always prefer to do those first. So let me show you guys all the plants that sold this week. First, we have both these Philodendron Florida Ghost. We have this one and then we have this one. The next one we have is this Hoya Sunrise. Two of these Monstera Arias. We have this one. And then we have this one. Two of these Philodendron Brawl Marks Variegated. We have this one back here, and then we have this one. Then we have this Hoya Compacta Variegated. Then we have Syngonium Chia Pins Variegated. This one is possibly reverted. It does have a new leaf on the way in here. However, I don't know if it's going to be variegated or not, so I sold it as possibly reverted. Then we have these two seedlings here. These are both Philodendron El Choco Red, Philodendron Red Anderson, Philodendron Glorious, and lastly, we have a Rapidophora Tetrasperma Variegated. This one, I did consider it to be a low variegated one. Also, I did consider it to be a cosmetic damage one because it does have a little bit of browning here. Some of the leaves aren't as pretty. So sometimes I do sell plants as cosmetic damaged. We also do have a bunch of potting mixes and plant accessories, but I'm just going to go ahead and just start packing. I just finished packing all the orders and I'm going to just quickly repot these plants. When I unboxed them, some of them were good, some of them were bad. I'm a little upset, but there's really nothing I can do when it comes to something like that. So we're just going to just do what we can and move on. If you can hear noise in the background, number one, it's thunderstorming. And I also have laundry going on in the room next door. So I apologize if you can hear it on the mic. So we do have eight plants and four out of the eight aren't the greatest. So these two look pretty good. I am really confident in them. This leaf is kind of throwing me off. I think it is yellowing. So I might just leave it for today and just see how it is tomorrow and then maybe I'll cut it. This one does have some leaf damage, but no yellowing. So I'm pretty okay with that. Does have like a tear here some like minor cosmetic damages on the edge. So I might sell this one as a cosmetic damage one. I have to just see, just needs to be cleaned up. There's a ton of dirt on the back, as you can see. And as you can see, there's a ton of dirt in here. I'm gonna be doing all that today. This wholesaler does not pack the best, I will say that. Um, and sometimes it can be a little bit hit or miss. That is why I do only order a few at a time. One tip that I have for you, if you are getting into any type of wholesale business, you get what you pay for, right? Um, and that goes with anything at all. I use this wholesaler because they do have a lot of anthuriums. Yes, their selection is smaller, but usually their plants are a little bit cheaper than my other wholesaler. My other wholesaler, the one where we get the big shipments, honestly, the plants come in great, great condition. You guys have seen it a million times. They are just always on point with everything. The packaging is pretty good. Um, 
no damage really ever and if there is they usually handle it really well however they are very expensive and they have a lot of requirements that you need to meet as a business to be able to work with them and honestly sometimes spending more money means you're gonna get better quality I'm not really too upset about a lot of this stuff because we can just rehab it and go from there the next plant here this one is obviously dirty it's not looking the best but it's looking decent so I am not gonna put this one up on the shop because it has one leaf and I feel like it's going to probably not make it sometimes I don't always like to put one leaf anthuriums on the shop because anthurium leaves can sometimes take a turn for the worse within a few days and the last thing I would want is that somebody purchases this and then in a couple days it yellows off and then they have no leaves and then I have to reach out to them and cancel the order I think with this one we will just put it aside in the rehab bin until at least has two leaves super super disappointed about this one but as you can see there's a ton of damage on this plant it completely melted in the shipment and that is something that can happen to you when you're shipping plants in the heat so this one did take a turn for the worse as you can see it is in not sellable condition at all so what we're going to be doing is completely cutting it down and sticking it in the rehab bin and seeing what it does in the next couple months and then this is the last one this is unfortunately probably the one that looks the absolute worst and the most disgusting so when we were unboxing them i was kind of explaining to you guys that this is something that you have to be ready to deal with as a plant store who buys in wholesale you're not always going to get the most perfect plants from wholesalers because there's hundreds of them out there and a lot of things can affect plants while they are being either shipped to you or on the truck to you however you get them delivered so owning a plant business is definitely not an easy thing to do because these are living plants they need to make it to you alive and you also need to care for them and keep them alive as well. So it's really difficult sometimes and it's not just an easy type of business to have. It's very particular and it's very niche. So I want you to not get discouraged if you order your plants in wholesale and some of them do not come the way you expected them to because you are comparing them to my videos or another person's videos or whatever um, of how they get their plants and stuff like that. It's not always going to be the same thing for everybody yes a lot of the times the plants that i get are damn near perfect but today they are not and this is just part of the process i've been doing this for a few years now and i'm just like at the point where i do not get affected or upset over stuff like this because it's out of my control this is the same thing for you as a customer when you're purchasing from plant shops or if you're even doing imports and stuff i'm sure the people in here who import plants you guys know exactly how it is the shipping process can really really affect a plant's well-being and that is just a risk that you take as a customer whether a business customer or a customer to another business that is the risk that you take when you decide to ship a plant in the mail we're gonna just go ahead and repot these and call it a day I'm also going to be just cleaning them up today and putting their labels on I already printed out their labels here we only have eight plants it's probably gonna take me like 20 minutes to do this and then next week we are going to be getting another shipment the really big one and doing that restock as well and that will be our really really big July restock so you guys can look out for a lot of new plants for July. I'm really excited. And yeah, let's just jump right into it. While I was repotting these plants, I did discover some root rot. Surprisingly, most of the root rot I found was actually the luxurian. I definitely was not expecting that because the plant's leaves looked pretty good. There was no signs of any root rot. This is exactly why I like to repot the plants before I put them on the shop because the plant looked nice on the outside, but on the inside, there was some issue. Ultimately, what I decided to do with the shipment was to not restock any of them at all. Even though a few of them are okay to put up, I just think it's better for me to just wait. I just would feel more comfortable just waiting another week or two, um, especially for like the ones that did show a little bit of root rot. I just want to make sure I can actually see those fuzzy roots growing. So I just finished repotting them all and I cleaned up their leaves and then what I ended up doing was just putting them in a clear bin and I stuck them underneath a grow light and that's where they're going to live until I think that they are ready. So we did kind of have a little bit of a shipment design disaster this week but that's okay i will keep you guys updated on these plants throughout the whole rehabbing process and hopefully in the next few weeks we can start listing some of these for sale
tutorial. I will see you guys next week with the next plant shipment. We do have quite a lot of plants on the way, so I'm super excited. And also, we're going to be celebrating Plant Life Lex LLC anniversary. My anniversary for my business is in July. I have a lot of exciting things planned for July for you guys, so stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for supporting my business and watching my videos. I seriously appreciate it. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next week.